Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. Today we'll talk about the Java MVC pattern. MVC is a pattern where M stands for model, V stands for view, and C stands for controller. I'll tell you later on why we use this model, but for now, model is a class View is also a class and controller is also a class. So when you start coding in Java, you create each one of them as separate classes. The whole job of the model is to represent an object or Java, which we call plain old Java object or POJO. So basically that's where your entire Java class is. It can also have logic to update the controller if the data changes but the whole idea of the model is to have your model class. Then you take the presentation logic away from the model and you put it into a view, which is a separate class. And the whole idea is to represent the data on the screen, which could be in the form of a graphical user interface, which could be in the form of the text interface. But the whole idea is to represent or visualize the data that is coming from the model. And finally, controller is the one that acts on both the model and the view classes. It controls the data that is coming or going into the model, and then it uses the view class to present the data on the screen. So as a user, I will never directly communicate with the model class or the view class. My whole concentration will be on the controller class. So in other words, you can see over here how things run. So you are constantly requesting from the controller. The controller is then updating the model, okay? Um, grabbing the data from the view, which is your presentation layer, and then fulfilling your response. And as we see the example, you will be able to understand this better. Now let's come to the next question. Why should we use this? Well, the whole idea of this MVC pattern is to segregate the data, the logic from the presentation and make this uh, logic and, and presentation being controlled with the help of the controller class. It's basically the segregation of the view from the model and controller. So what, 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 how does it help? It helps separate the display and the data in the separate buckets. So when we talk about massive, massive code, we're talking about millions of lines of code, this segregation uh, tremendously help us uh, because we don't have to constantly go and modify the model, or we don't have to constantly go and modify the view. It is the controller that we are mostly in need of. So we just talk to the controller and we just go through the controller to view and the model. And also, it allows modification in each data without affecting the others. And most commonly used in the graphical user interfaces and also used in web apps um, and some frameworks such as JavaScript, MC, and Ember, JS, etc also support the process of MVC. So hopefully uh, this would have helped you understand why we use MVC and what is MVC. In the next tutorial, I will go over an example with you where we will use Java MVC. Catch you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.